M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Zygu X6100. Excellent radio, and I will always say, use an external speaker, the audio sounds so much better. Anyway, this video is about the RIT and the XIT settings. Someone has asked me, how many plus or minus hertz does it adjust? Now, I like the new screen. I know it takes up part of the scope, but I still think it looks very nice and it's enjoyable to use. So let's have a look at the adjustment here. Now the menu setting, press radio number two, and then select the one you want. And then if you hit the little tick here, or push the MFK button, it will put it up there and you can control it. So back out here with this button. And now watch here, we're gonna turn the MFK and look at the where it says RIT here, at the Hertz change as we move it up. So, oh, it's only showing RIT. So, well, the numbers that we're getting here on XIT, cool, that goes high. Go to, we'll keep going, 1500 from, from zero. So let's select RIT. So what we'll do, we'll push radio setting, turn the MFK to the left, and then select with a tick here, RIT, and let's move that here and see how it, so when we go to 100, it is 100 hertz. So if we keep going, it may go up to, yeah, it'll go to 1500. So it's basically 1500 hertz, plus or minus. Now I wonder if we can change that sort of display where it says RIT, because I don't know this to show XIT, so we're gonna try the display settings. So we'll go display settings, and we'll just see if we can see it on here. FFT span, hold, WF, can't see that. We'll go back, do radio set again. No, I don't think we can. I think you only show the RIT. So there you go, 1,500 hertz. That's the answer to the question. And I'll just show you the difference a speaker a, a speaker makes. Let me just go and grab it. So you can hear it now. Now the speaker is a Icom SP7. Always use the bottom plug. Look at the difference. Okay, very good, Mohammed. Uh, great to meet you for the first time. And uh, it uh, makes a lot of fun there. Uh, and it, 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 uh, on headphones, I, it's I, even better. I Let's unplug it. Look at the difference. Once you've added an external speaker, then this radio really comes to life because you realize because the actual functionality the scope the way it works the tuner the swr meter the decoding everything just i think works great it's a lovely size radio as you can see i'm just about to put some handles on it actually i uh, got them from china i'll show you them in now so these are the handles they come with a rope believe it or not and you have to teach yourself to tie it but i have taught myself i've made a video on fitting them and uh yeah they just go and they're they're metal, very lightweight, and they lit, they fit on top. So I'm just going to put them in place and show you what they look like. I can zoom in. So I just lent that one in place, and then you have a, the strap goes at the in the top here. And it it you can what I like about them is you can leave the original housing on. And I think they look nice, and then the carry handle goes across there. Like so, and this one's thicker than the last one I got. And you just got to teach yourself to, to do the, it's almost like a plait, you know, a plait on your hair. And uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually very doable. And it is just screws, that, you get lots of spare screws, you get an Allen key as well. I can't remember why you get an Allen key. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a 10 minute job to fit them. So bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel, 73, catch you on air, all the best.